welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video about my current skincare problem, makeup problem. Um, I usually have like normal to oily skin, but for like a month my skin is like so oily. I don't know what is happening like around my T-zone, around here, my forehead, everything it is so oily. I don't know what it is. So I was struggling with my makeup. I saw that especially around the smile lines around here and on my forehead, like my foundation was melting off my face. So I knew that I had to like find a solution for that and I tried so many things and I watched YouTube, I watched a lot of videos, but like nothing really helped. So I started to play with makeup for about like four weeks right now and I finally came to a solution that really helped for me. So if you want to see how I maintain my foundation on my skin, um, even though I am pretty oily right now and then please keep on watching. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is apply my face primer and this time I'll be using the NARS Pro Prime Multi Protect Primer Base Multi Protection with a SPF of 30 in it and this is a mattifying primer, well a glittering primer, it's supposed to glitter your face. I've been using this for a few weeks right now and I really, really enjoy using it. And yes, I did apply moisturizer because oily skin it doesn't mean that you don't have to moisturize the skin. So, okay, so now that the primer is on, I am going to use Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm taking a little bit on my finger. Don't mind the nails, they are terrible. And I am warming the product on the back of my hand because sometimes a paint pot can be very like rough and very dry. And that's actually what we want to do, but still, I don't want it to be like patchy. So I am going to apply this on the areas where my foundation tends to melt off. And what I did, I just made that really fake smile, like, like here, you know, and then you can see where you have to place the uh, paint pot because here is where my face moves a lot because we talk, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like this, and then we know where to apply it. So, like so. Oh, that's a bit too much. Also around here. I think I'm getting wrinkles. I don't know what is happening. I'm getting older, you guys. I'm turning 30 this year, so yes, the big 30. Yeah. And a little bit here. That looks terrible. It is way too light, of course. This is soft ochre. This is not my skin color at all, but that doesn't matter because we're going over it with my foundation. Okay, so now that we have the primer, primer. Okay, so now that I have the pink pot all over the areas where my foundation melts off, I'm going to do something pretty different. I'm going to use this MAC Studio Skin Finish uh, Powder in the color Medium Golden and a Morphe 438 brush and I'm taking a little bit of the powder, tapping off the excess and then gently pressing the powder onto the paint pot. I saw a lot of videos where people tried to apply powder on their entire face and then apply foundation. Um, I didn't try that, I don't know if that works, but I noticed that like this method works for um, people with oily skin and um, foundation melting off. So I'm not taking a full coverage powder, I'm just taking this nice setting powder by MAC, which I really love. Okay. Now that those two products are on, we are going to apply a foundation. And for foundation today, I will be using the MAC Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, the Pro Longwear one in the color NC42. And I'm going to dab this onto my skin, like so. 
yeah, that's about it. I think this is too much because it's a pretty cool coverage foundation, but yeah, who cares? And the brush I will be using is the Sigma F84 Kabuki brush, and I'm just pressing the foundation onto my skin. Um, and I don't like to go like, you know, circular motions because I don't want to mess up the paint, but I'm afraid that it will be like patchy and well, I'm not really afraid. I tried it, it happened. So really try to use like a kabuki brush where you can like press the foundation into the skin like so. I am so tan right now, even this foundation is too light for my skin. <sighs> Gotta bronze this face a lot. Maybe I should take a NC44. It's summer right now, and I get really, really, really dark during summer. Though, so, I've never tried an NC44, but I think I should. Or maybe C6 or C7 from the Face and Body Foundation, but I don't know. You just gotta work with this because that's what I have right now. So I am quickly gonna apply some concealer. This is the Pro Normal Concealer as always in NC35. So I'm not gonna set the rest of my face yet, but I am going to set my concealer. I'm using that same Amorphe brush and the MAC Skin Finish in Medium Golden. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of eye curl because that's what's missing right now. Okay, so the final step I'm going to do is using the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And this is a pretty full coverage powder. I never use it as a foundation, but I'm going over uh, the places where I applied the, um, uh, the paint pot. And I am going to really press the product onto my skin, like so. Just to really mattify those areas. I know this is a very popular product of MAC, like the whole Studio Fix line, the Studio Fix Fluid and the Studio Fix Powder. I love the Studio Fix Powder, but just on certain areas. I never use it as a foundation because it's too powdery. I don't know, it just doesn't look good on my skin. But I like it when I have to use it just to make sure that my foundation will stay on the entire day, but not on the entire face because for the rest of my face, we're going back in with the Skin Finish in Medium Golden. And then I'm quickly going to bronze the hell out of my face because um, it's a bit too light. So yeah guys, that was my quick little video on how I maintain my foundation on my face and not melting away. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions about this uh, subject or anything else, you know, comment down below and if you enjoyed watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you!